pocket knit is a very simple pattern and you will use this in so many designs. It'll say work even in stockinette stitch, which means to work on the same number of stitches in stockinette. If you're working flat, like we're going to be working here, you'll work one row of knit stitches and then one row of purl stitches and then repeat back and forth. If you're working in the round, you knit every row. So it's super easy around every round. Super easy because a lot of people like to to stock a net in the round because they don't have to use the purl stitch. So let's go ahead and look at stock a net. Now the first, I usually always start mine with a knit row unless it calls, the pattern sometimes specifically calls for a purl row and that would be different. So to, to do a knit stitch, you insert your needle behind, it makes an X and then you wrap the yarn around pull through and push that loop off. Okay, you're making a new loop and pushing the old loop off the needle. So insert, wrap, pull through, push off. So I use the English method. I can do continental knitting. I have not mastered continental purling yet. So I'm just going to do the English method in this video. So you're just knitting each stitch across. So go ahead and knit each stitch and then we'll come back and do the purl row. I finished my knit row and turned and you can see these bumps are facing me now. I used to be confused as to when to knit or purl on stockinette, but just know that when you see all the back bumps that you're going to purl and, it'll be, and the, you can't see the front that well yet. I'll show you that in a few minutes. So to purl, you insert your hook the opposite way. It goes down and in front of the other needle. Whereas for a knit, we went behind like this. And now we're going to scoop down in front. It still makes an X. Oops, that's the tail. Grab my yarn here. Normally I would go ahead and have it. I wrap it on my finger, my pinky. And hold it so let's try it again insert like this the yarn's always in front of your work Oops, sorry Maybe. wrap around pull the loop through you can see the new loops right here and then push off the old loop insert wrap push through push off And then that will be your knit, your purl row. So you alternate the two. You do a knit row and then a purl row. And you just repeat. So I'm going to work a few rows and then I'll show you how to count the stitches. And also how to tell if you're ready to do a knit or a purl row. Alright, I've worked several rows here. And you can see that the major characteristic of stock knit is that on the right side of the work, it has these V's, okay? Now, sometimes people get confused and they think it's an upside down V, but it is, this is the stitch. You can see it's protected to here. And they're just nice orderly rows right on top of each other. So it makes a nice little column right there of V's. So for my next row, what I would be doing is knitting because I'm looking at the right side. So anytime you see these V's, especially if you're new, because I remember when I was very new, I was knitting, um, a, well, I was trying to knit a tank top. I hadn't gave up on it way before that, but I can remember I had a whole bunch of stock in that. It was worsted weight yarn. And sometimes, you know, I'd pick it up and it would be on this side. And I'm like, oh, do I knit or purl? I don't know. So if you see this side and your yarn is down here at the end, I have a double pointed needle just for ease of filming. But let's say my yarn was coming out from right here. I would be purling you see all of the bumps and my yarn actually is coming from this stitch so it's knit because you can see the right side okay so let's look at our rows it's easy to count this garter stitch is a lot harder to count when it's all knit because you have a bunch of ridges and i did our garter stitch video already so you can see our first here that went along with our cast on row one 
two, three, four, five, six. And this adds up perfectly because my first row was knit. And so every odd row should be knit. Now that I'm going to be on seven, then I should be knitting. So that adds up, right? You can always tell in stockinette whether you're knitting or purling. If you start with the knit row, then you should be knitting on odd numbers and purling on even. So I have six completed. And do, you do count these stitches that are up here. So like I said, I have one, two, three, four, five, and then this was six. And so now like I said I'm gonna be working seven and that evens out perfectly. So this is a super, super easy stitch pattern, I guess you could call it, because it's knit and then purl. And I said it is used in just about everything you can think of. It'll say stock and net stitch. And they assume that you know what that means and that you'll just work even knitting one row and purling one row and you'll get this nice smooth V look. Be sure to check out my channel and subscribe for more knitting tutorials. You can have a new one every week. Come visit us at lovelifeyarn.com for more than 180 free patterns, crochet and knitting, and we'll see you next week with another tutorial. Thanks for watching. Thank you.